Okay, this is E. Matthews Jet. Uh, this is a card that I want to show you that I've been running for a long time. Uh, we're in 2019 and I started running, I built this car in 2002 or 2003. This car is from New Era. New Era, they're not in business anymore. But New Era, back in 2000, they were on top making drag cars. They made some serious cars that today you can't find. They're very rare today. And I've kept my cars. Okay, so, and I continue running it without killing the car. And I enjoy it. It's got an Afna Pico 26. This, that motor came out in 2002 or uh, 2003. Okay, so they were competing with uh, Noah Rossi and Rossi. Because Noah Rossi and Rossi were making top motors back in that day. So the car, you know, it's an old car. You know, I don't want to call it a dinosaur, but it's a dinosaur. Today, they, the cars that they're racing at the track today don't have a full-scale chassis. They're running pretty much a, a, a aluminum plate with wheels on it and a motor on it, and then they put this body on it, and they're running faster than this car, but I don't consider it a car. Because if the, if the car is not almost scale with a full roll cage chassis and you're just running a piece of plate with a motor on it, to me you're not running a fucking car. I don't care what you say, oh this is my car. I don't want to hear that shit. This is a car. This is the real deal. So the two speed is from Serpent. This has got a Serpent 2 speed. And back then, this car, when I was racing it, this car was pretty much on top. It was a car that a lot of people couldn't beat. Back then, we were running 30% uh, nitro. Today, they're running 50% nitro. They're cooking their crap out of their motors to do a pass. And I think that's foolish. You know, they, they want to run at such a high speed. These guys today, they okay, they're doing 80 miles an hour. Great, your car is doing 80 miles an hour. But you're cooking your motor. You're putting 50% nitro and blowing your engines down the track to do that 80 miles. So you can brag to everybody, oh, I did 80 miles with my car. You know, but... You blew the shit out of your motor with 50% nitro. On this car, I run 30% nitro, and the car is doing, you know, 57 miles an hour, 58 miles an hour. I don't need to do uh, 80 miles an hour to do a pass. Okay? So this is a new era, 1A scale, top fuel dragster. And this body right here is all nicely painted. A friend of mine by the name Mark, he paints bodies for a lot of people. He painted this body for me. Uh, uh, my friend Mark, he does a lot of drag racing. And he is the guy that's putting 50% nitro in his cars. You know, I'm not going to argue with the guy, but that's what he's doing. So, this body here, I had it up up there it sat up there for a good couple of years uh, completely clear and he said to me I want to take that body with me and I'm going to paint it so this is a brand new paint job that he did to my car I do airbrushing myself I do airbrushing myself but he did this body for me 
Now I'm going to show you the original body to this car. This is an awesome car and I got extra wheels because I stocked up on wheels. I got a whole bunch of wheels on a box. Today you can't get no, those wheels anymore. I've been looking on uh, on eBay everywhere to see who's got them and nobody's got them. But because I actually stocked up, not only I stocked up on wheels, I stocked up on uh, brake pads, a lot of stuff. And this body was actually one of the bodies that I stocked up on. Now we're going to re remove this. So I just recently took off the FM receiver because I'm going to turn the car into 2.4. So let's remove the body that my buddy Mark painted. And let's look at the car. This is where I put my battery pack. This is where the receiver goes. I just removed the receiver. It's got Velcro on it. The chassis is completely straight. It's not bent. It's got aluminum uh, rims in the front. This tank is for the RC10 GT that you can't even get anymore. I don't even know why they stopped making that buggy. That off-road buggy was awesome. You know, Associated should put that buggy back on the market because that is an awesome buggy and they stopped making them, man. You can't get those buggies anymore. Actually, that buggy was my first Nitro RC car that I started running back in the early 90s. In 1989 or 90s, when I bought my uh, Team Associated uh, a GT, RC GT, uh, you can't find that car. And this motor, even though the car is old, the motor is in mint condition, well tuned, it does real nice passes, and I don't have to kill the car. I enjoy it. I could do a pass and I don't need to put 50% nitro and cook cook the crap out of my motor to do a pass to impress a whole bunch of idiots standing at the at, at the place. That's a complete aluminum uh, spoiler that I made because I make a lot of aluminum parts. Uh, that spoiler was in plastic and uh, I made that one in aluminum. Because back in uh, in the 2000s, all the top few dragsters, that was the exact spoiler they were running on their dragsters. So I replicated their spoiler. Very nice car. And I also got a whole bunch of these belts stocked up. Uh, when I build a car, I stack up a whole bunch of parts to keep it running for a while. I put the aluminum interior. That's my aluminum floor I made for it. I took this plate and I made this because this came with a plastic plate. But when you turn the steering, the plastic plate would move all over the place. It would buckle. So the car had very little steering back then. So I decided to buy a plate, I cut it out, and I high polished it because that's an old high polish. That's from all the way back in the days, man. And I drilled it here to make it lighter. That's why I cut it out. Instead of making the plate solid, I cut it out where it could lose weight. And then over here I use clear plastic for the servo and the receiver and for the battery mount, the body mount. It's plastic. And I got a lot of friends that they love this car. They actually always making me offers to buy it and I won't part with it. It's a very nice car. And I, I, I got the, the front wing 
except uh, when I painted, when this body was painted, the holes were never made. Plus, I got a body that I painted because I'm going to put on the real body to this car. The body to this car is my paint schemes to all my RC cars. If you go back to my previous videos, you're going to understand that this is my original race colors. Yeah, that's it. There it is. This one I airbrush because I airbrush bodies. Mark painted that one for me because he wanted to do that. But I also do airbrushing and these are my race colors. So if you look at my HPI Baja on my channel or any other of my race cars. Because what I wanted to do is like a race team. A race team got all their race cars with the same paint job. So that's what I did here. And that's me. I am CMP Racing Team. So this dragster has got two bodies on it. It's got the body I painted and the body that my buddy Mark painted. Mark is awesome. I love the guy. This guy drag races every weekend no matter what weather he's out there this guy's out there early in the morning and he brings his cars he's got like some serious serious pro stocks and funny cars uh to drag race with this guy don't fuck around this guy's the real deal i got a lot of respect for him uh, he's, he's like family So I keep my cars in mint condition. Even when I stop running them for a while, they're always clean, on a shelf, and ready to go for the next pass. So this is E. Matthews Jet, and this is my new ever Top Fuel Dragster. Awesome car. I love it. This car kicks ass. See you guys on the next one.